Hi, it's Chester at Blue Pecan Computer Training, and in this video, we're going to look at rounding numbers. I've got my retail prices here, which are looking pretty ugly, a result of the wholesale price with the markup added. I'm going to look at various ways of rounding. I'm going to do a normal round where you round up or round down. Then we're going to round to the nearest multiple of 25p, 50p, whatever you want to do. Let's start off with round. Now this will do what you traditionally think of as rounding. If I select a number there, comma, and then choose the number of digits I want to round by. Say I wanted to round by one digit, that would give me 134 pounds 80p. So it rounded off this last digit here. If I copy it down, it will round up or round down based on the normal rules. If I change this to a five, I'll type it in for ease of use. You can see it rounds up to 80, but if this was a four, it would round down to 70. Just gonna do that. If I wanted to round to the nearest pound, then I'd put a zero in there and copy that down. And you can see it does exactly that there. Again, rounding up five and over, rounding down four and below. Okay, what if I want to do something slightly more sophisticated and want to round to the nearest 25p? Well, for that, I can use a function called mRound. Again, I select my number and then I express my multiple. So if you want to round to 25p, you put in 0.25. So if I close the bracket there, you can see that the nearest 25p to 78p is 75p. If I copy this down, you can see it's done the same thing throughout this list. Now, I'm just gonna link this argument multiple to this cell here. I will need to lock that reference to G2 and then I can copy it down. If I change this to 50p, again, it would find the nearest 50p throughout all these retail prices. What if I wanted to round down to the nearest 50p? For that, I can use floor.math here's my number and the significance i've put up there but obviously you could type it in if you didn't have the figure up there in the cell but i'm going to do that lock it close the bracket press enter pop it down and you can see that it's always rounded down never rounded up if i want to round up then i use ceiling.math and it kind of works in the same way if i choose retail there to just scroll over a little bit, choose my multiple, close the bracket, press enter. Do need to fix that, otherwise I won't be able to copy it. Copy it down, and that's always rounding up to the nearest 50p. And if I change this to 0.25, you can see that's the case again. So if we go through these, round has rounded up 134.78 based on the normal rules. The nearest 25p to this is 0.75. If I round down, it's also 0.75, but if I round up, I go up to 135 pounds. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this video. Hopefully it's useful. If it is, please subscribe, and I'll see you next video.